Today's wig is brought to you by HairVV.com. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. I must admit, this review is long overdue. Like, look at the little holiday headband they gave me. Ugh, I'm sorry, Hair VV, but I'm getting to it now. So they were kind enough to send me these really cute lashes. If I find the style number, I'll be sure to link it below in the description box if you're interested. Cute little baggie. They were kind of to send me these little chalks that you apply on the hair just for like a quick hair color. And I forgot to do that for the video, but I'll do that in a whole separate video. I'm sorry, you guys. And I'm sorry, Hair Vivi. So here is the wig straight out of the box. The lace is tinted to brown. On the inside of the wig, you get your fake scalp and a adjustable elastic band. Behind the lace, you get two combs and you get another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. So this is how my wig came straight out of the box, you guys. I did not style it. I did not pluck it. I didn't do these baby hairs. This is how it comes. And this is how Hair VV said how all the customers get their wigs too pre-styled. And I think this is a great idea. The hairline comes pre-plucked and the knots come bleached. You do get a little bit of lace in front of the fake scalp. So you could like, um, you know, glue it down or whatever. So I'm just going to go in real quick and bump the hair. And I'm not applying any product on the hair. I'm just going in with straight heat on 420 and I'm using my Babyliss Prima 3000. I like how Hair VV styled their baby hairs. It's very different than what I usually do, but I'm just gonna go in and cut it down a little bit. Also, when I receive the wig, the parting comes on the left side. I'm not really a left side person. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So now I'm going in with my Nairobi foam wrap and I'm just combing the mousse into the hair. This really helps mold down the top of the hair to make it really nice and flat and smooth. And boom, this is my end result of me styling the wig on the mannequin head. I really did not have to do much. They really did all the work for me. So now I'm just going to pop on this wig. Now I'm going to take the Olive Oil Super Hold Spray and I love this spray. I love it way more than the Got To Be Glue Freeze Blast Spray. And for this, I'm just going to be spraying one layer on top because this is just a wig show and tell. Like, so I'm not going to do nothing too extra. So you guys could just see how the install will look. 
But anyway, I'm just setting it up to get ready to spray it. Then after that, I spray like little spots on the lace. I'm not going to go in and spray it all over. And I don't want the spray running down on my forehead. Then after that, I go in with the blow dryer on warm. And I just dry it until it turns, you know, dry. <laughs> Right here, I sprayed it just a little too messy. I almost got myself in the eye, but I'm okay, y'all. I'm okay. If y'all care, I'm okay. And now I'm just going to keep going and blow drying. I must say, this lace is really nice. Like, what? Hold on. What wig? What wig? What wig? <laughs> So I'm not going to be spraying down the other side. I do this a lot of times, especially when I'm going to work, like because the bang side is going to be covering the other air tab. It's just like, what's the point? So I usually just put like a bobby pin there to hold it down. Or if I'm like, you know, going in, I really want it down, then I go in and spray it down. But for this wig show and tell, I ain't going to spray it. See, it's covered. See, 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 see. Now I'm just going to go in and style the baby hairs, kind of the way Hair VV styled it straight out of the box, just to try something different. And there's no product on the hair, I'm just swooping it right in. Now I'm going to take my Frizz Bully Wax Stick by Erica J and I'm just going to go in and smooth the top just in case there's any flyaways. And I really like how this product is really lightweight and how it gives this nice low luster. It's just gorgeous and right here is pretty much my end results. I must say, I don't really have any cons about this wig. The only con I do have about the wig is the adjustable straps that they inserted. I think I'm going to go back in later on whenever I'm ready to wear this wig and remove it because it's kind of like uncomfortable where it's at on the left side. But otherwise, the lace looks really nice with my skin. I have no complaints. I got no tangling. Shedding was super duper 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 low. The size is fine. The cut comes fine to me too. Like, you don't have to go in and tape it up or anything you could go in and tape it up if you want but i like the way it comes like hair vv y'all really did y'all thing also if you ever purchase from hair vv comment below if you have any experience like let me know your experience let everybody know i like when you guys really do that um y'all i really don't have nothing bad to say it's just the elastic band but this is so lovely really lovely the density is on the low side but it's fine it goes with the flow of the wig the fake scalp comes really nice like it really looks like a scalp so a lot of you guys are probably sitting here like what makes this bob different from any other bob from any other hair company it's that fake scalp boo it's the fake scalp come on so if you have any questions like feel free to comment below and i get back to them as soon as possible like comment subscribe welcome to the family do what it do baby <laughs> all right now i'm just chatting but i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video